preventing pressure injuries in ICU is of prime importance. The study published in 2021 showed that ICU acquired pressure injuries prevalence was 16.2%. Sacrum, 37%, and heels, 19.5%, were most affected. Factors independently associated with ICU acquired pressure injuries were older age, male sex, underweight, emergency surgery, worse physiological parameters and longer stay. How to prevent pressure injury. Continuous bedside pressure mapping, CBPM, is one of the most effective methods of preventing pressure injuries. It shows the pressure which is present at various points. If the pressure is seen to rise, repositioning of the patient should be done. However, it's very expensive so may not be helpful in resource-limited setups. In this meta-analysis looking at effectiveness of prophylactic sacral protective dressings to prevent pressure injury the study found benefit of the intervention. In the six studies, prophylactic sacral dressing helped to prevent bed sore in high-risk patients. This is inexpensive, and may be adopted in resource-limited setups. Here are six practical points. Pressure injury cannot develop in the absence of pressure. So start with routine monitoring by either clinical observation or continuous pressure monitoring device. Physical examination of the patient's skin is essential to prevention, diagnosis and treatment. Skin assessment should be performed regularly, at least once per shift, and more often as required. Use a cleansing agent that is pH neutral. Do not vigorously rub or massage the patient's skin. Keep the skin clean and dry. Apply a fragrance-free moisturizer as required. Devices should be sized appropriately. The skin and tissue under and around the device should be assessed regularly, at least every four hourly. Reposition the device regularly. Apply a prophylactic dressing to the skin under the device to redistribute pressure. Use a barrier cream to the skin under the device to create a protective physical barrier from moisture. Regularly re-evaluate the need for the device. Consider the most appropriate support surface for the patient. Positions and repositioning frequencies will vary dependent on the type of mattress, the patient's medical condition and hemodynamic stability. Always check the positioning of the bony prominences. Heels should be suspended off the bed. Consider the use of a dressing applied to skin areas at risk of increased bodyweight forces such as the sacrum and heels, or pressure from medical devices. Pressure injury remain a constant problem for ICU patients due to their multiple risk factors and the nature of their critical illness. You can follow the six points as a bundle to prevent it. Like the video if you found it helpful and thank you.